Although the line was originally created as a means to make money via industry and mining, it became more of a passenger and tourist line. By the turn of the century, businessmen and women, workers and thrill seekers looking for excitement, boarded wooden passenger cars in droves to head for the snowy peaks of the Alpine Tunnel. For $7 round trip, a traveler could board the train in Denver in one morning and arrive in Gunnison City the next afternoon. The ride on this section of rail could be treacherous. Who knew if the cars would derail, or if there would be an avalanche or a rock slide, or if the snow would be too much for the locomotive to push through. Tourists on these trains never did know, but that was all part of the adventure. Flatlanders, we call them. Usually it took only one trip from the West Portal down Palisades to the Woodstock Loop to cure them of mountain railroading.